A D.C. synagogue will pay nearly $1 million in a lawsuit that accuses it of violating child care safety laws. The D.C. Attorney General's Office sued the Washington Hebrew Congregation stemming from an investigation into its child care center. News 4's Juliana Valencia explains the violations and has the response from the synagogue. Tonight, Washington Hebrew Congregation is expected to pay close to $1 million in a settlement with the D.C. Attorney General's office. It stems from a lawsuit in 2020 by the D.C. AG's office in regards to the synagogue's early childhood care program. Back in 2018, allegations surfaced that an assistant teacher at the synagogue's daycare center had sexually abused students. D.C.'s attorney general's office says a total of 14 families reported allegations of abuse. Back in September of this year, a court ruled Washington Hebrew congregation was liable for several violations, including operating unlicensed summer programs, placing children in the care of unqualified staff members, and failing to adequately report incidents of harm to children. They were also hiring unqualified teachers. In fact, we alleged in our complaint that the teacher that these allegations were brought against was one of those unqualified teachers. Jennifer Jones is a deputy attorney general familiar with the case. Obviously, the significance there is if you're not licensed, then the Office of the State Superintendent of Education doesn't know to come out and inspect you and make sure that you're following the laws. That was a major violation. Washington Hebrew Congregation sent us a response which reads in part, the settlement specifically stated that WHC denies liability for the OAG's allegations, but settling now allows WHC to avoid continued protracted and costly litigation. It goes on to say, occurring nearly four and a half years ago, the violations were administrative in nature. Not one was related to the supervision or alleged abuse of children. As a result, of the settlement, WHC will pay $950,000. $300,000 will go to families enrolled in summer programs during 2016 to 2018. Another $100,000 will go to a D.C. charity. The rest is for civil penalties. In the district, Juliana Valencia, News 4. Now, the assistant teacher who was employed at the center from about March 2016 to August of 2018 was never criminally charged.